Rob, you're down in Bristol. You've got a fantastic machine shop here, but can you tell me a little bit about Redcliffe Precision? Redcliffe Precision is a, uh, a private company. Uh, we are an aerospace subcontractor. We build to print. So we have a range of machinery, five axis, three axis, um, turning and mill turn. And one of our specializations is thread rolling, which is cold forming of threads to provide fatigue resistant fasteners specifically for aerospace. So many engineering companies, they tend to transfer into other areas. Why just aerospace for Redcliffe Precision? Uh, aerospace demands um, very high precision, very high quality. It's very prescriptive in terms of standards and approvals. So once you're in aerospace, you do tend to stick there. Though we are diversifying into other areas, oil and gas and marine at the moment. So looking at the uh, shop floor here, you've got five axes, you've got turning, but also thread rolling. Now that's quite an art, isn't it? Thread rolling is a specialist activity. We're one of very few people, or very few companies that provide thread rolling services on a subcontract basis. And is that, yet again, is that driven by the aerospace sector? Uh, yeah, very much so. We've, we've been doing it for very many, you know, many, many years. And I, 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 talking about traceability, obviously the aerospace sector is very highly driven in reference to actually the, uh, the return of knowledge. Now, you guys, okay, are working with their MIE solutions and you, you actually use MyTrack. Now, tell us a little bit about the journey of actually using that software. Yeah, we've used MyTrack for many years, uh, initially in its MIE32 form. Um, and then uh, a year ago, we migrated to MyTrack Pro, which is SQL based. Um, initially, uh, MyTrack um, was selected because of its traceability functionality and the fact that it was easy to be compliant with the, the very rigorous traceability demands that aerospace requires. So taking the opportunity of actually working with uh, MyTrack over the years, what systems did you have in place before you had MyTrack? That was a very long time ago. We've had MyTrack here for um, over 10 years. Uh, we have benchmarked it as we went along and um, we didn't really find anything else that was uh, as suitable as MyTrack was as a, as a complete offering. And when you look at the uh, service and the backup that you get from MIC Solutions, you know, how's that fared? Uh, the, uh, it doesn't need service, but the backup in terms of um, uh, on telephone support and, um, and recognizing where improvements need to be made is, is very, very good. And uh, it wins hands down against competition. And when you look at your processes here, especially for high tolerances for the aerospace sector, has it really sort of given you a, a bit of an edge by using the software for your customers' benefit? The edge that it provides is uh, in terms of traceability and that functionality. I think it, it doesn't cut the metal for you, um, but it does virtually everything else. And do you think with, with having a system in place, it gives you the opportunity for fighting for new work, not necessarily just into the aerospace sector? Uh, very much so. We find that we can predict machine capacity looking forward um, more accurately than, uh, than the other systems. When you look at the investment that you've had by having MyTrack Pro, it's very much uh, a system that actually gives you the confidence to give the confidence back to your customers. Do you see that that being a big part and you'll be working longer term with your customers because of the software that you've invested in? Uh, yes, our customers are very keen on auditing activity within the business. You know, we are a, um, we're a small, medium-sized business, much smaller than our customer base. Uh, consequently, they want to establish whether, whether we can accurately uh, predict machine capacity and workload. And this is something that they, they spend a lot of time checking out before they award business to us. And for any engineers or larger OEMs that are looking to outsource at the moment, do you have a message for them? Uh, the message is always that we have capacity, particularly for difficult work.